Hi guys, happy Monday. I'm going to do this one in English, okay? Uh, and I'm talking about exported labor. And it's to do with that airplane, aircraft that came and collected 221 people to go and work in Canaan, Jerusalem, as you know. So everyone was quite surprised to say, Ooh, what's going on? When did this happen? How come we didn't know about it? How come this wasn't disclosed? But I've heard from a few people who actually saw uh, some sort of like a vacancy to say that, that in Israel they're looking for farm workers and to say if people knew if people knew anyone that was interested they should apply. So it did go around but sometimes when things go around we take no notice. We'll look at it and think hmm, and then we move on without actually paying attention to what is there. So a lot of people are a bit skeptical as to what this is. But the truth is exported labor is not a new thing. It happens all the time. There's so many countries that are big countries. They've got a lot of work going and they don't have a lot of enough laborers. So they seek laborers from outside. They import labor. For example, a country like, you know, USA can get some people. If they have a shortage of nurses, they will come to Africa and look for nurses. That's what happens. And this has been happening for a long time. But in this case, it seems there's a shortage of farmers, people to work in farms, not just farmers. You've seen some people are packaging, some people are sorting, some people. So it's different things. So I think in a sense, it's a good thing. The only problem is that maybe it's a time, it's a very unstable time for the country they have gone to. But apparently they've gone to a safe zone and there's not a problem. And I would say better than nothing. They, they're going to be paid the, apparently 2 million kwacha a month into their Malawian account. And then they'll be getting some other allowances to live on where they are. That's a good thing. Because think about it. If they didn't have that, what would they be doing? Eh? Just struggling for labor. So it's a good thing. And... Um, there was a time, I, I don't know what year, there was a massive shortage of nurses in the UK and they were actually looking for nurses outside the country. And even in Malawi, there was this thing, everybody knew that nurses, some nurses left Malawi and came to the UK like that. And that's just part of exported labor. So these things, you just have to keep a lookout. If you look at countries like Canada, Canada has always got a shortage of workers, shortage of laborers, and they're always advertising, come to Canada, come to Canada. But the problem is many people don't know how because if you've never been outside, if you've never been gone anywhere, it's hard to know where to start. Where do you start to actually go to places like that? Kumaso at the same time, I'll give an example of where I work, right? I work in health, healthcare. I always work in hospitals for years and years. So uh, one of the departments in a hospital I worked at, past tense, I'm not there anymore. They wanted 50 IT technicians, right? So this guy that worked in that department from Nigeria said, actually, I know 50 te technicians, IT techs, all of them. They said, all 50 technicians. He said, yes, I have them. They said, okay, bring them. We'll give them jobs. And he simply went to Nigeria and said, I need 50 IT techs. 50 IT techs applied and he took them. I was at work one day and I just saw all these people arrive. And I was like, wow, what's going on? And this guy brought people from his home to do that job. So it happens all the time. It's a case of you have to keep your eyes open if you want opportunities like that. Because it's an opportunity if you look at it. You're going to work. You've got something to do. You've got money coming in to feed your family, to feed yourself, develop yourself and develop your country. So there is a problem though. One problem I will say about us, my people, okay? The problem is, for example, opportunities come all the time. This is why, because this thing has happened and it's been put out in the open, everyone can see it. It's like, oh, what's going on? It's, it looks strange. It's because it's new. People have never really seen something like this before. Whereas in other countries like Nigeria, it happens all the time. People are used to it. A few years back, I remember there was a, there's this uh, healthcare organization in the UK they brought hundreds of healthcare workers from Zambia. They had a contract with a certain company in Zambia and they brought all these women, they came. It was actually nice, they got things to do, they got a job, they were earning money and that's how they came. So it happens all the time. Here's where it goes wrong for my people. Okay, when opportunities like these come for my fellow Malawians, we know that we can bring in this many people. They say they want a hundred people. 
Can you bring these people to work? This is how much we'll be paying them. It doesn't end there. It always comes back to people start thinking, oh, I can bring these people to work. It will benefit them. But then people start to think, how much will it benefit me? If we always look at our own stomachs, we always look at our own pockets first. And instead of just saying, okay, you need transport, you need an, a visa application fee, you need to write your IELTS. Uh, I, I can't, I can't for the life of me pronounce that. IELTS, you need, to, so just tell you the requirements and then after that, you come. It's that simple. But in this case, when it comes to my people, I don't know what it is. I don't know why. When opportunities like that come, they always think about their pockets. And they will say, there's this opportunity to come. But for you to come, you need to pay me this amount of money. And it will be an extortionate amount, which you cannot afford. Okay? Or you'll end up getting a loan. And then even if you get here, even if like I'm in the UK right now, if you get here, you will spend months and months trying to pay that money back. And it's most of the time not fair because it's just too much. Instead of helping, you're debilitating the people and it's just not right. But that's what people do. Okay. So usually that, but that's what goes on. So it's not a strange thing. I'm, I'm actually glad to see that this has happened in a sense of people have got employment. That's a lot of people. And if this happened more often, the country would be in a better state. It would be better off. And it's just a job. It's people going to work. And I, I think we should be honest. Most of the people that are talking and wondering and all that, if they had known about this opportunity, they would have applied for it themselves. So it's a good thing. Exported labor. It's okay. So all the time, if you're looking for jobs, right, sometimes so these agents can be very, very expensive. So... There's websites, go to websites like uh, NHS jobs in the UK, healthcare jobs, just apply for jobs there. Because if you get given, if you get offered a job by them, you don't have to pay these administration fees that are not necessary. You will just have to pay your way to get here. I know that's hard as well, it's not cheap. But apply for work like that. Uh, look for nursing homes in the UK, in America, in Australia, in Canada. Just Google it. Spend time. Apply, apply. And don't, don't just send one application and think that's it. If you really want to apply for something and get it, it's a game of numbers. You really have to think about it and you have to apply like your life depends on it. And you apply. You send in as many applications for different jobs as you can, different organizations as you can. And you'll be surprised. One day you'll get given an interview and then oh we've given it to you the job here's a letter for you to apply for your visa and just like that it happens and me talking like this you know so many people are going to see what i'm saying but somebody somewhere is going to get an opportunity through this because they will take it seriously and that's just how it happens so it's not anything to worry about to be scared of to be suspicious about it's just labor it's just work sometimes when you don't have labor work on the ground you go elsewhere uh, in the UK, there were so many drivers, you, you know, lorry truck drivers that came from Poland, that came from the EU. And right now, they're no longer there because of Brexit. They're still looking for drivers. You can apply for that if you've got the qualifications. So you think about it and you keep an open mind, keep your eyes open and see what's out there. There's so many things out there that you can actually find. And you never know where your opportunity lies. So that was it. It's not a suspicious thing. It's a good thing. Our people are working. Let's, you know, applaud them and wish them the best and pray for them that they stay safe. So you have a good day.